Alright guys, in today's video I'm actually going to be using my HTC One M8, but this is going to be a universal video for any time you want to hack your Android device, okay? So um, this is going to be my model device, but really, like I said, this is going to apply to any Android device that you want to hack. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you five things that you really need to know before you start hacking your Android device. It's very important, this is going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches and it just gets you in the right frame of mind for hacking your device and getting some cool features on it. Alright, so to start us off here, first thing you got to know is you got to know how to get into settings here. And obviously you need to know, first of all, some people don't even know, like literally don't even know their device name. I mean, I need, you need to know you have a Galaxy S5 and it's on Verizon, okay? That's just like super basic information that you need to understand. Besides that, you need to know what's here. And you go into settings and you go into about. And then you go into software information right here. So however you get into that on your device. So everything on this screen, you really need to know. And technically not all of it, but you need to know it. So you need to know your Android version. You need to know what version of Sense you're on or whatever information you have right there. Software number if you can find it. And then you need to know what's in here. More information as well. So kernel, baseband, and build number. Build number and baseband are probably one of the most specific things that you really need to know. Um, these two, and then obviously Android version. Um, anything other information you can get in about phone. Something I like to do um, if I don't know or I want to keep a picture of these things, what I'll do is I'll actually take a picture here, volume down and power. If you hit them at the same time, it will take a uh, snapshot. There you go. And I'll do that, and then I'll take another snapshot of um, more right there. I'll do another one. There it is. And then I will put those on my computer, so if I ever need to reference those later, I know what they look like. Because if they're on the phone and the phone don't work, that doesn't really do you any good. All right, so we know how to look at all the information in about phone, um, and we know how, what, what uh, device we're on, hopefully. Okay, so besides that, that's number really, that's like number one and two right there. Um, we need to know how to enter stock Android recovery. All right, and not how to enter it, you know, with like some kind of reboot to recovery or anything like that. We need to know how to do it manually. So on this device, we're going to show you how to do it manually. So if you're, if you're powered off, all right, so once you are powered off right here, um, to get into this mode, uh, stock recovery or just recovery in general, you need to hold uh, volume down and power, at least that is how you do it on this device. This actually puts you into um, a bootloader mode right here. So, and then all you gotta do is scroll down, hit recovery, and hit power, and you'll get into recovery. Now, this is gonna be different button combinations per device. This is just how to do it on this device. So you do need to do your research and learn how to get into recovery. Now, this is actually not stock Android recovery. This is a custom recovery, but if you get a custom recovery installed, it's the exact same way to get into recovery. So it's really important that you know how to do these steps. All right, so that is going to be how to do step number three. So we're going to actually do a quick really reboot, and then we're going to talk about um, the next step in this process and other things you need to know. So that's going to be done on my S5 right here. So here is my S5, and on this device, what I want to show you guys is I want to show you guys how to get into download mode. So download mode or technically how you would get into something like uh, fast boot mode or programming mode so you can um, restore your device. So on this device all you got to do is you hold home, volume down, power, keep holding until your device boots and you will get to this screen. Okay, pretty simple. Then you hit volume up to continue and you're in download mode slash programming mode slash Odin mode however you want to call it um, now you can actually plug this in your computer run some stuff on your computer and fully restore your device so this is how it works for Samsung on HTC um, it would be some, some like uh, H boot mode on um, Motorola you'd be in like a fast boot or bootloader mode and you'd run you know RSD Lite or fast boot commands 
So it's very important to know how to get into these modes because at some point you probably, if you're new at this, are going to mess your device up and it's going to be really important to know this information. Alright, so I'm just going to reboot this thing really quick out of bootloader mode. There it goes. And um, lastly, number five is now that you know how to get into all your modes, now that you know how to mod, uh, get around all the menus in your device from a powered off state, which is very important, you want to know how to actually restore your device. So like I was saying, if you have Motorola, be like RSD Lite or um, Samsung, you'd be using Odin or Key software. You need to go ahead and do your research on that software and get the files you need to restore them already. Just have them on your computer. Have them already downloaded. Once you've got all these five steps set up, you know you know your device information, you know how to get into recovery, you know how to get into bootloader or download mode or recovery mode, you have the utilities you need to restore it, now it's time to go ahead and do your research on how to hack this thing. Okay? You're going to thank me, trust me. Because at some point you're going to mess this up and you're going to be so happy that you have already done your research on all this stuff instead of panicking at midnight because tomorrow you don't going to have a phone when you wake up or stay up till crazy hours trying to fix it. Kicking yourself in the butt saying, oh man, I should have never hacked this thing. I should have just left it alone. It's not worth this headache. Yeah, we've all been there. Trust us. This is, this is how it works. But that is why you need to have these five steps already accomplished before you start hacking. So I hope this was helpful for one of you guys. I hope this like helps some of those noobs out there. I'm going to probably start attaching this video to everything because it's just really important to have these five steps in place and have this basic information and understanding down before you start the process. Um, that's going to be it for me. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Um, stay tuned for more on the HTC One M8, the S Galaxy S5, which I'm going to be doing more on hopefully as development happens. And we will catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.